We're good. I'm Marshall from Beyond Iguana Games. This is Stir Fry 18, and essentially it's a bluffing game where you're trying to bluff your opponents to cook the best stir fry and score the most points each turn. Um, if you look down, this is the entire game right here. That's all 18 cards, so it comes in a nice little box, and it's a, called a micro game, technically. Excellent. Um, these are the three protein cards. They're sort of the trump cards out of the entire group. Um, you discard these uh, chicken, pork, and shrimp for two, three, or four. Uh, and then you can discard any sort of pair for three cards from the top of the deck. You can do both of those once each turn. The discarding, however, is all done face down. And your opponents are able to say, I don't believe you, taste test, flip it over. Uh, the penalty for them being wrong is that they discard all their cards. If you were in fact lying and trying to pass off a mushroom and soy sauce as a pair, then your turn is over at that point. If you still have enough points to cook, you can, but rarely does that happen. And your opponent will draw an extra card on their next turn. So the idea is after that you cook and there's certain combinations that are better than others. You have to have noodles to cook. They're only worth one point but they're the catalyst. You cook a minimum of three and a maximum of five ingredients and uh, if you had a cook like this you'd simply count up Pork, it's worth five. Eight with mushrooms, since we don't have any mushrooms, there's no bonus, so five. Okay. Ginger's normally worth two, but it's worth four with pork, so that's mm -hmm. going to make nine. Ten with the noodles, and then three more for green onion. That's 13 points. I score that, put all my ingredients back in the deck and shuffle it up. I get to draw one for cooking in that instance, and then it's the next person's turn. You play till 50 points, and that's the entire game. Okay, so... Uh you must obviously like stir fry. I'm I guessing actually, that. <laughs> the way that this game came to be was we read a board game geek challenge. Oh. That said, design a, car, a card game with 18 cards and a half sheet of paper. Um, yeah. This is what came out of that. At the time, I was cooking a lot of stir fry at my house and trying to come up with a good recipe for it. I now order it most of the time from restaurants to make it better. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> at the time, I really was cooking a lot of stir fry, so this just seemed like an instant theme to try. The oh, game was right. built total probably in about a week of time and testing uh, about two months before PAX South 2016 we contacted our printer as fast as we could once we had something we liked in terms of the artwork and all that ready to go again within about two weeks of the initial concept and uh, got a rush order got it printed and sold out of the game at PAX South oh, so wow. it's uh, been this is the third printing and we're getting ready to have to print it again it's been really popular uh, it's again was just one little challenge that we appreciated from Board Game Geek we actually pulled it from the challenge since we printed it, since the, the prize was go to a Kickstarter or something like that, and uh, yeah. now it's uh, really, really a fun little game that tends to fly off shelves at retailers too. It's uh, oh yeah, well it. You a ten dollar price point, and again a tiny little box oh, wow. that you can throw in your backpack. That's uh, awesome. Or your pocket, for that matter. So that's great. Stir fry eighteen, uh, nice and fast. I like that because then I don't have to think too much. No, exactly. <laughs> and it's like simple. We say six and up, but as long as kids can do simple addition, they can play. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you.